Hi everyone, it's morning, not yet 10 and um, I'm waiting for a ring at my doorbell so I'm just coming to see you this morning um, My meeting yesterday, I had a meeting uh, with legal people yesterday um, and a telephone conference and um, I wasn't thinking on my feet really there's still some stuff to be cleared up so um, <coughs> I don't know, I think I've got too much on my mind, you know, when you've got somebody who you adore in a, a nursing home, the caring doesn't stop because you're still there for a few hours every day, you shop for them, sometimes cook to take things in for them, buy things all the time for them and shop for them and it's the same as when we were living together as man and wife when things were okay and Alfie wasn't this ill um, we probably spend more quality time together now because the things I don't have to do I don't have to cook every meal or wash every um, shirt etc so we spend a lot of quality time more than a lot of couples spend together every day and as I've been told you know your skits you're still a carer you're there three or four hours a day every day sometimes you've gone back so even with that I wouldn't find time to come on YouTube constantly as some people do and so I'm going to say this, I'm, I'm sick and tired of having um, to defend myself against trolls. A lot of the comments have been deleted either by myself or my brother, but not before they were reported. Um, even on the day of my sister's funeral, you were here with your vicious, malicious, uncouth, unspeakable language and the crafting woman um, who I never said anything about nothing um, it was just that somebody said she's selling boxes nice maybe she's used it as a business venture which she came on and admitted that she did and then proceeded to attack me in the most malicious horrible way um, her true character came out, and I hope her business venture doesn't take off. I hope she loses subscribers. I hope that people see her for the nasty, mealy-mouthed bitch that she is. I don't know if you know who I'm talking about, and I'm not naming names, but there you go. She said she wasn't going to come back on YouTube till she'd had my channel taken down. There's nothing, there's nothing in my content that, you know, warrants that, my dear. Now I'm coming on to somebody else because I saw a live stream this morning. Um, and where I was commented on, I heard um, that 90-year-old, what was it you called me? Nowhere near 90, darling. I'm probably, maybe, around about the same as you, I don't know. Um, but I've achieved a lot more in my life than you have or than you ever will. A 50-something man who sits on YouTube 24-7, except when he's dotting down in his mother's basement, who's got nothing of his own, who attacks other people simply to get views on his channel, who makes numerous other fake accounts along with certain others who were on that live stream this morning and who when I commented none of you could make a remark back to me all went silent well no it didn't actually because you were too engrossed in a monologue concerning yourself to be concerned about what people actually would be interested in hearing so let me just say, if somebody's claiming government checks, if they're ill, or whatever reason, they're claiming government checks, but 
they can sit on YouTube almost 24-7. They can have live streams, I believe one live, live stream, I was told, um, running to 10 hours, a 10-hour live stream. Who can, after the live stream, go and have a five-hour telephone conversation, which I saw you wrote. <coughs> I saw that myself. Either. Then why can't you work? Why can't you go into telephone sales? Or even, why can't they um, export you to India? And um, you could uh, be a customer service agent from there. That would be nice. You could top up your tan. Put a hat on there because you've got no hair. Um, anyway, that's what I've come on to say this morning because I'm getting a bit fed up of it all now. Uh, it sounds as though it's bothering me, doesn't it? It, it? it doesn't really. It's just that sometimes I feel like having a snipe back. And I suppose this is my snipe back. Um, I would have thought that when I contacted, when I commented on somebody's live stream after they've said... I'm too much of a, a coward to go and comment on their live streams or their channel saying I'm too much of a coward. Well, I proved that I'm not. None of you frightened me. Why would I be frightened of you? I've worked all over the world. I've brought up a family. I've had children. I've delivered children. Which is why I can see and why it disturbs me so much when children are neglected and abused. Now, bugger off down your little rabbit holes and no doubt you'll be trolling me again, but um, you'll just be deleted. You don't matter to me, you're nothing. Um, and I think you've proved that to a lot of your own subscribers. Anyway, I hope you're having a nice sleep now because <coughs> it's 10 o'clock here. <coughs> His throat. Excuse me. It's 10 o'clock here. It's probably 4 o'clock in the morning where you are. Unless your live stream's still going. It wasn't until half an hour ago. I don't understand how women with young children to get up and get ready for school um, can stay on a, a live stream till the early hours of the morning. And go over to the dark side with the repulsive chats. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm old school. Maybe I'm old. Maybe I'm old fashioned. But the alternative to growing old, um, I don't really, um, I wouldn't really ascribe to that. So I'd rather get old than pop my clogs. Well, like you, because you've tried it on, on camera. The man I was talking to earlier, you know. And what was that with the staples? Did you run out of staples? Maybe you could start to go from me. Sticking staples in your head. Never heard anything so silly. Anyway, I've said my piece, just as you said your pieces about me. And um, it'll be hit for hit from here on in. Okay. Um... Probably about to say, probably about four o'clock where you are. So no doubt, everybody snuggle down, preparing for another busy night on YouTube. What a life, not having to work. Well, I've got to go. Got somebody coming. Got some work to do. Got some bookkeeping to do. Um, some of us do have to work. Okay, sweet. I'll be back later, and to my friends. Bless you, really. I'm so grateful to have you and to have you here and to have your friendship and your support. Bye-bye.